What's good YouTube? I'm Louis Gusto and today we have something special for you. We're gonna be eating some Chicago pizza and if you love pizza as much as we do, make sure you finesse that like button. In addition to tavern style pizza, Chicago is world famous for deep dish pizza. Now believe it or not, my fellow pizza fanatics, there are multiple types of deep dish pizza. You've got the Chicago style deep dish pizza made famous by Lou Malnati's and Paisano's. You've also got the Chicago pan deep dish pizza. Today we're at Millie's Pizza in the Pan to try Robert Molesky's pizza inspired by Burt Katz himself. He started this as a ghost kitchen in Logan Square, but since that day has gone on to win Best New Restaurant by the Chicago Tribune, Thrillist, Time Out, and Infatuation. He was also recently a participant in Good Morning America's United States of Pizza competition. This is the custom untitled pizza. Robert made it up special for us today. We've got pepperoni, we've got mozzarella cheese, we got ricotta cheese, we've got pepper do peppers, jalapenos, sweet peppers, and of course, that beautiful sauce. I could continue to list all the accolades, but if I did that, the pizza would start to get cold, and you know, that's a big no-no where we come from. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my first slice. As usual, this looks beautiful, so thick, Chicago style. Look at that, we got the caramelized mozzarella. Oh wow, I'm gonna dive right in. Bon appetit. Ever since we filmed our Uptown Neighborhood Guide, I have been looking forward to trying this pie once again. It is so, so good. That mozzarella, the sauce, the softness of the dough, crispiness on the end, it's truly a masterpiece pizza. And it kind of inspires my personal philosophy on pizza. The East created it, the Midwest decorated it. Mmm. when it comes to Chicago deep dish pizza, there are a lot of haters out there, pizza purists they like to call themselves, who try to say that deep dish isn't pizza. Really, if you try to say something like that, you've clearly not tried enough pizza in your life. Why would you shut yourself out to all the possibilities when it comes to pizza? You could get it in a square, you could get it deep dish, you can get it thin crust, you can get it with just cheese, you can get no sauce. There are six million ways to get pizza, choose one every day. Mm. <laughs> Millie's Pizza in the Pan is located in Uptown on Argyle Street, just west of Sheridan. This is a great vibe in here. We're grateful to Robert, whom we call a friend, because he opens up his pizzeria to us on a day that he's normally closed. And he made a custom pizza for us. Mmm. Mm mmm. And a lot of times when people think about deep dish pizza, they think about something that's super heavy, it's gonna like sit in your belly like an anvil. 
This is the complete opposite of that. It's bouncy, it's light, it's chewy, it's flavorful. The combination of peppers and pepperoni, plus multiple different types of cheeses, a crispy caramelized edge. I mean, this is like a dream pizza. I, if there were a Nintendo game where you could design your own pizza, these are all the best elements that you could throw together. And it's fun to eat. So deep dish haters, you better hang it up because all pizza is great pizza. As long as the love and care is going into the ingredients and the preparation, it is a five-star pizza. Mm. And this pie is the gift that keeps on giving because once those pepperonis and pepper are consumed, you still got that combination of mozzarella cheese and pizza sauce, plus that amazing crust. Now y'all know me, normally I don't eat pizza crust because it's typically flavorless. Like what's the motivation behind eating it? But when it comes to the crust at Millie's, that caramelized edge, super crispy, flavorful, it's gone faster than a power pellet in a Pac-Man maze. And if you're visiting Chicago, even if it's only for a day or two, you gotta make Millie's part of your itinerary. Trust me when I say, it's gonna change your life. And huge shout out to Robert for opening up his pizzeria on a day that he's normally closed. We're super grateful because normally we go to restaurants and music could be blasting or people are coming in and out. You know, servers wanna take care of us. And so it can make filming a little bit hectic, but here we get to come in, feel comfortable, and enjoy one of the greatest pizzas on earth. If I had any graphic design skills, I would turn this pizza into an emoji, and that's how I'd communicate with everybody from now on. This is a perfect pizza to enjoy after a workout, and I know that because earlier today I worked back and arms, so I did some back exercises, some biceps, some tricep, a little bit of cardio, just so when I ate this pizza, it would contribute directly to my gains. My muscles are gonna be made of deep dish pizza. In the three plus years that we've been running this channel, we have done so much content around pizza, and that's because it's our favorite food. Mm. This is so good, I would just get these crusts with a dipping sauce. Oh, that would be phenomenal. Great snack after the gym. Nice pick me up in the morning with a cup of coffee. And we had to do our favorite deep dish in the city, which is Millie's. This is the one that we recommend to all of our friends, any New Yorkers that we know that are coming to visit Chicago and they wanna know where should I go for deep dish. This is the place that we send them to. so enjoyable. I shared with y'all my personal history as it relates to pizza. Growing up in Florida, we had a lot of chain pizza. But then when I went to Gainesville for college, Gainesville actually brought it in terms of pizza. You got several places that do it right. They even do Chicago style pizza in Gainesville. So that was a nice introduction. And then moving back to Chicago as an adult, really starting to try deep dish because as a kid whenever i was in chicago with family we never ordered deep dish pizza it was always tavern style so i knew about it but it was just something that wasn't really a thing that i ate then i found out about pequods which is the deep dish pan pizza started by burt katz and this is a pizza directly inspired by that legacy to me this is the way to get it if you're going to get yourself a thick pizza you gotta go this way. You've got soft dough, you've got crispy edges, you've got amazing Italian ingredients. It just makes a brother happy to be able to eat amazing pizza when I'm here in Chicago after I finish up this pie. We have lots of pizza videos on the channel. We did a Queens pizza tour, we did a Brooklyn pizza tour, we've done Manhattan pizza tours, we've done a deep dish pizza tour of Chicago, we've done a New York style pizza tour of Chicago, we've done a tavern style pizza tour. <laughs> so we, this is just what we do. We got lots of pizza content. Matter of fact, I have a whole playlist called Pizza Time. Make sure you check that out because you're gonna get all the best recommendations, all the good spots. You can't trust a Google review these days, who knows? It could be rival pizza makers hopping on there, leaving one-star reviews, or people who are just having a bad day and don't really know their food. 
So you could trust us because we only go to the finest pizzerias. All right, that was Millie's Pizza in the Pan, a spin on their flagship Untitled Pie. And the Academy Award goes to Millie's Pizza. The crust, 10 out of 10. That sauce, a 10 out of 10. The cheese, a 10 out of 10. And those toppings, a 10 out of 10.